today is um, March. I mean, <laughs> today's April 16th. Yeah, April 16th, 2016. I've uh, gotten up early today to continue a project that I wanted to get done uh, yesterday, and that was the potting up of some of my plants. I had some uh, dwarf miracles that needed to be put in bigger pots or containers and also some Cracker Jack miracles. And also I have some beefsteak tomato plants which I started on March 14th, about a month ago, actually a little over a month ago. And they have their true leaves and they need to be potted up. And here, let me just show you what's happening here in the greenhouse. And I'll try and do that without making you dizzy. There you are. Hopefully that was a good transition. Now these are the beefsteak. And you see how they have lots of leaves now? Not just two, but a number. So these are all ready to be potted up in here. Look at the roots. You see that roots underneath there? So you can see that the roots have come through the bottom and uh, need to get potted up. Now this container here, this flat is a flat um it's a two dollar flat and there's 98 cells for starting seedlings and uh, i would say 80 percent of the cells have plants but of that 80 percent a lot of them have two plants so i'll just divide those apart and uh, i'll have a lot of tomatoes more tomatoes now as you might, can see, some of my squash, this is, uh, it says winter squash. Kasha squash. I'm going to be planting these out in the ne maybe today or the next couple of days. This will go into my front garden. And uh, the garlic, you can see the garlic is sprouting. This is garlic. I will plant that in between and around my tomato plants I think just uh, to let it grow and then you know six months from now maybe pick it but it's supposed to be good for repelling insects so that's just a good thing to have now some of my Italian parsley look at that it is really growing in this pot so that is something else here's some other squash so this squash will be planted out here soon too. It needs to get out of here. Now these are the marigolds, the Cracker Jack marigolds. Now these were actually started on March the 20th, these Cracker Jack marigolds. And uh, I'm potting these up. These are gonna be very tall. And here are my dwarf marigolds. They're, these have been growing for some time. And you can see that they're already flowering. I have uh, planted a, a good number of them and these i just need to put i needed them in a larger container because i'm not sure when i'll plant them so and these are flowers here uh, i think they're zinnias these so they're getting pretty tall they need to be planted up and here this is a couple of the beefsteak tomatoes that i have potted up yeah that's the correct term i and oh you can see up here i think that's one of my watermelons that are coming up and i have a globe grape yeah you heard me right this guy here i finally got some of my globe grape seeds to uh sprout and then not only to sprout but this one has started uh I guess we should call it a vine. So I got that globe grape, and then this one is starting a vine. And then last yesterday, I had a whole bunch of globe gr grapes that were sprouted. See these grapes? These are here, they're all globe grapes, and I'm hoping that they become vines. I know that normally when you have uh, grapes, you um, what is it? You, you cut the vines and break, you splice them together. And here are some of my peppers. These peppers need to be, uh, these are sweet red peppers. 
and they need to be potted up. They're, they're the little ones. So there's a lot of things that need to be potted up in the greenhouse. Now, look at this deal. It is so huge. And I think I've called it a lot of different names, but that's dill. It's not basil. <laughs> uh, I was calling it basil there, I think, on some of my videos. Sorry about that. Now, my neighbor was throwing out this little container, and I decided to make it a lettuce garden and beets, my beets. And this container, this cooler was being thrown out, so I nabbed it, and I planted this is an herb garden now here we have dill here's some oregano here's some italian parsley i don't know if you can see that very well italian parsley now this this here is the basil there we are that's basil sorry about that so there's four herbs in this little garden and i'm excited about that now you can see that the uh, my jerusalem artichoke I finally planted that out. Man, they really like water, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. And I've got some, I think these are cabbages here. Uh, we'll find out. There's some type of brassica. You can see the kale. So around my greenhouse, I've got this garden going pretty good. I've got a couple of flowers planted and some onions and some, I think it's cabbage. I'll be surprised. Now, look at this. These are those broad beans, the Robin Hood broad beans. And look, they're flowering. Isn't that neat? And then the peas are look to be really starting to come up. You see that? And <laughs> right there is a volunteer potato. So I don't know what I'll, oh, there's two of them. So I'm not sure what I'll do with those potatoes. Either I'll leave them or dig them up and transplant them. But look. The pole beans have come up on both sides. So how do you like that? I like that a whole lot. And the onions, the little red onions, are they're still surviving. And look, here's some of my bush beans are coming up. You see that? And... These are those onions that we planted. They really look healthy. And looky here. You see my tomato plant? And I put a marigold right beside it. And on this side, you see that? That's a cucumber. So, and I need to get more of these tomato cages. See how tall it is? I think it's five feet tall. But it'll grow up through there. And so the tomatoes are doing real well. And now I've got some of the cucumbers planted. I'll also plant some cantaloupe among here and other things. So you can see how they're all doing. And so I've got all the perimeter planted with uh, tomatoes. What's so funny is that Monday we had kind of a cold morning. And I was concerned that, you know, some of the tomatoes might be harmed but it didn't get that cold and now that it's into the end of the week i'm saying to myself why isn't everything planted so <laughs> one uh, just a few days ago i said oh man i planted too quick and now i'm saying oh and you can see the apple flower can you guys see that can you hear the birds singing and i don't know if you can see out by my gas meter let's see See all that garlic that's as tall as the gas meter? I, I uh, got one, I picked one of those green garlic and, and cut it up and put it in some of my uh, stir fry, I think. And look, I do need to mow my grass. My neighbor mowed their grass yesterday. So there's always something more to do. Now this raised bed has not been planted except for one nasturtium. Now, so there's one of my cucumbers, you see it? And a marigold and another plant, tomato plant. Now, this one is, uh, it says Rutgers. That's a Rutgers. And this is a, 
Mark Amir. Any market more, I think, tomato. Okay, that's a pretty good, oh, let me show you the potatoes. So these potatoes here, these all need to be potted up into bigger containers. You know, that's like a two quart container, I think, maybe one quart. So maybe half gallon, it's not too big. And look, all of the potatoes by in my containers, the ones that are bushed up are the, the ones that have been growing for, uh, you know, some of these have been growing since about uh, January. Other ones have been growing, you know, not so old, but they really popped up. Look at that. And here's some other pot raised bed potatoes. You see that? Now this one's starting to pop up, so I'll have to add dirt to this. I'll build it up till it gets pretty much full like this one. And how you like that. So that's pretty much it for the garden. This is the front garden. Um, I put down some cardboard just to kind of suppress weeds. So I'll probably put chips or something over the top of it. Who knows? Okay, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.